St. Paul is traveling from one community to another, from one city to another, evangelizing, encouraging the new disciples of Jesus Christ, exhorting them to grow in their faith, inviting them to the renewal that Jesus offers. And he can't keep this good news to himself. Everywhere he goes, he seeks to share the gospel. That is his passion, that is his life, that is his vocation. It is very interesting to see the Christian community gathered in the upstairs room. That is what disciples of Jesus like to do, come together, spend time together, be together to celebrate, worship, pray, fraternizing. At that time, they were a minority. Christianity was just beginning, beginning to spread in the world. They needed to gather to support each other, encourage each other, but most of all, to celebrate the Word of God and celebrate the Eucharist, source of continual renewal. A very interesting detail that Luke mentions, there were many lamps in the upstairs room. Of course, this is a gathering that's held at night. It's normal that there be oil lamps. But why mention many lamps? He is probably telling us that, that there are not only many lamps, but of a lot, a lot of light. I tend to think that there are three sources of that abundance of light in the upstairs room. First, Jesus said, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Where there is Jesus, there is light. He is the most brilliant source of life. He is the one who said, I am with you always until the end of age. No wonder there's so much light in the room. Jesus, the living Jesus, is in their midst. Secondly, the word of God is proclaimed at length and celebrated by Paul in the community. Another great source of light. In Psalm 119, we read, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. We can always count on the word of God to bring light to any situation, to any gathering, to any, to any community. And thirdly, a community of Christ's disciples gathered to celebrate their faith and worship their God, radiates the joy and the light of the risen Lord. Three wonderful sources of light. Of course, the oil lamps shed a lot of light, but these three sources, Christ, His Word, and the community, are what I like to believe are even brighter than the lamps. 